All right, so now I'm a little younger. Let's see what happens when I'm older. <laughs> that, that actually worked kind of well. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and I'm just wanting to do this quick thing here because I posted a little demo of Adobe Photoshop's new neural filters to Twitter. And it was kind of impressive, but then Clint from LGR <laughs> gave me a good laugh with his demos as he dove into the neural effects some more. So I figured I would do that with the photo that I was showing earlier and see what's up because I have not used this much. So I'm going to dump this into Photoshop here. And this is a behind the scenes photo from my Modbook mystery episode coming up. This is going to be a really good one. So definitely tune into it. It'll be a YouTube premiere. And let's go to the menu and go to the new neural filters area. So this uses AI and potentially we might see this kind of stuff get computed with the neural engine on Apple Silicon Macs in the future. This would be the perfect thing for that. And they're in beta right now, but they can be a lot of fun to play with. So let's see. Let's zoom in here if we can. There we go. Zoom in on my mug. <laughs> and it automatically detected the face. Good. So let's see. Well, I'm not wearing any makeup. Let's go to Smart Portrait. So we'll just turn this on here. So I was originally demoing Light Direction, I think it was. So I turned this on. And you see the highlight of my face on the camera left side here. But if I drag the slider, you'll see it's loading. I'm probably uploading my face to, like, some Russian server right now. <laughs> oh, that was head direction that I clicked. That's why it looked ridiculous. I meant to do this. So light direction, if you click it, it'll move the light on my face. And that actually doesn't look too bad the way it works. But yeah, head direction, <laughs> that, that, I mean, the, the mouth... <laughs> <laughs> the mouth looks a little weird. I remember back in the day I would play with the liquid. <laughs> this is this is actually good for a laugh. I would imagine you would use these, you know, subtly. <laughs> but when you exaggerate them, you get this crazy sh I mean, I remember using the liquify effects like back in high school when I first found out about Photoshop and that was the most hilarious stuff. This is like that times 10. Uh, hair thickness. Well, I usually keep my hair pretty short, so let's see what happens when we bring it down all the way. Yeah, see, it's not really catching all of my hair and I'm not sure how to redefine this boundary. Um, let's go full on hair thickness. <laughs> get, eh, that, that is, that's working pretty well. I mean, you're almost getting like an emo kind of look. It's like a 50% emo look. So, all right. So let's crank up anger. <laughs> um, maybe we should turn a few of these off right now. Surprise. Can you be angry and surprised at the same time? Well, let's try them separately. And then <laughs> both together. So surprise. <laughs> okay, um, let's turn that off. Happiness. Okay, so I, I look pretty happy in the photo, you know, by default. Uh, but let's say I get sad. No, it's not working too well there. Um, hmm. Let me do... Let me turn this thing off. Oh, now that just looks weird. Okay, let's turn it up all the way. <laughs> I look like some grandpa with really, really bad teeth. <laughs> hey, hey there, Shani, would you like a lollipop? <laughs> oh, dearie me, those teeth are horrible. Those are like smoker's teeth. Like, I just never stopped eating jawbreakers and smoking cigs my whole life. Oh, that's, that's amazing. And I haven't even adjusted the facial age slider. <laughs> oh, gee. All right, so now I'm a little younger. Let's see what happens when I'm older. <laughs> that, that actually worked kind of well. See, it's missing part of my hair up here. I don't know how to, like, add to that, but you know, that actually, that worked. <laughs> In all, you know, realness here, uh, it must have taken forever to, you know, program this stuff. So that's pretty amazing. There's other cool things in here, too, like... JPEG artifact reduction. You can download more neural filters and throw them on here, which is pretty sweet. 
Well, let's try something maybe a little less funny. I don't know. There's not a lot of de depth in this scene, so I don't know if we can really add some haze in here. But let's try. Yeah, I mean, give it some warmth. It, this probably works better for, like, outdoor photos, I would imagine. Um, yeah, it would probably work much better there, but it's pretty close. So now we can crank these up. Let's be really surprised, really old, and really angry. <laughs> it actually kind of works. My hair is like getting cut off at the top here, but uh, <laughs> I do look like some angry old guy. Now my teeth are like even more gone. <laughs> oh, gee. Let's crank up that hair thickness while we're at it. <laughs> Retain unique details. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. My poor eye. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna want <laughs> you're gonna wanna leave that on. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so leave that on. That's good. Uh, let's see if we can turn our head now. Yeah, I mean the the head turning objectively to oh. Oh gosh, I'm wearing an earring now. <laughs> this is Oh gee. To quote Steve Jobs when he was demoing Photo Booth, we're gonna waste an awful lot of productivity here. And uh, I think we can get a little before and after look. Oh, gosh. I, I look like a woman now with the long hair, and that looks like an earring. This is great. And another cool thing I noticed is when you apply the effects, it actually generates your head on a separate layer, so you can just turn it on or off if you wish. And there's the changes it made right there. So, And if you want to have two heads, there you go. Enjoy. Anyway, just wanted to... <laughs> Have some fun with that real quick here on a quick little extra episode, but definitely make sure you tune into the Modbook Mystery. That's going to be a really good one. And I hope you had a good laugh. Try, try out this new version of Photoshop yourself. Let me know what your results are. You can always tweet them to me on Twitter. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on.